Hello, Mr. Victor. Welcome to Infosec Train. Thank you. How are you? All good, sir. How are you? Great, great, great. Perfect. First of all, grand congratulations to you on behalf of all of us for clearing one of Information Security's Gold Standard Certification (CISSP). We are curious to know how was your experience while preparing for CISSP. Yes, though the experience has been great. I must be honest, uh, honest that um, um, what, before I engage um, InfoSec train, um, I tried to also explore other uh, services, but I realized no, uh, the feedback that I was getting, uh, there was no assurance that uh, whatever they claim they can deliver. Um, I, I wasn't getting the assurance, so I pulled out. Finally, I engaged the InfoSec train and I got the assurance to extend. So I enrolled. After enrolling, um, my, the nature of my job is such that I am always on and off. So anytime I am off, I want to do a lot of readings. So even before the class began, I engaged um, um, the uh, one of the officers that I was working with uh, who gladly offered to make some documentation available for me even before the actual start date. So maybe I was a bit privileged and um, I started reading all those documentation. So um, in summary, before probably I get to a key relevant point, I would say that the experience has been great. Kamlesh did a yeoman job. He did excellently. The engagement was excellent. One-on-one um, -on -one engagement. Any time you call on him, he is more than ready to support. And where you know you, I realized I was not getting it as expected. Uh, if I sought clarification, um, Kamlesh was more than ready to respond, and so. I would say that um, it has been the excellent support from uh, InfoSec train that made it possible. Glad to know that. Any suggestions or tips you want to share with the CISSP aspirants who are about to appear for their CISSP examination anytime soon? So um, I would say that uh, it is important that uh, one should read a lot. A lot of documentation as provided by Kamlesh very excellent. They are all good books. Initially, I was a bit uh, skeptical because I realized that the versions that I was familiar with, they were kind of old versions. So I kept on pushing for the current version. But I realized that, hey, come on, the concept is probably uh, almost the same. Uh, with my experience across the various domain, um, I what I noticed was that I just have to let go I mean, my technical staff and concentrate on uh, taking like a manager, one of the books that, or one of, yes, one of the books that uh, I read. And also, there was also another book that, um, that was also helpful, which is the, the Memory Palace. Yeah, that was, book was also very, very excellent to, you know, remind me of uh, how to actually get ready. Um, with the hot topics that uh, uh, was shared, I kept on make, uh, reading them to just to confirm or assure myself that actually I am okay with all the hot topics. So I'll go through the hot topics, whichever that is problematic become the topic for the next day. So I was reviewing all the hot topics, almost every day of the hot topic with the relevant you know, materials that could give, give me the best support. At the end of the day, the hot topics kept on reducing, I would say. So for instance, in domain one, if, we ha if I have like uh, about 20 hot topics, because I become familiar with maybe 10 or 12 of them, to me, there are no more hot topics for me, from my understanding so that I can focus more on the, those that were problematic. So I was doing the elimination. At the end of the day, I mean, during 
um, I think within 24 hours or 48, yes, within 40, 48 hours to the exam date, I must be honest that I had few topics that were really giving me headache. So I just concentrated on them. And then also um, practice questions. I practiced over 4,000 questions. And uh, uh, along the line, once I started reading a question, I know that, oh, this is coming from this domain. And uh, sometimes even the specific uh, section. So those things gave me uh, opportunities to really align very well. If I get it right, and even though I may get it right, but sometimes I don't really understand the question. So what I do is go back to the question or Google the question. Maybe there are some additional information to throw more light on why the explanation um, is as expected. Or instances where I got, got it wrong. Or even the, even sometimes, even though I am very much aware that this is correct, but uh, I just make sure that even the wrong questions, I try to understand why they were wrong. And so those were the things that actually gave me uh, the comfort that, okay, more or less probably I'm more than ready for the exam. And uh, uh, the understanding of the question is very, very important. At a particular point, I was just reading with a cursor or the mouse. So word by word, I take it slowly. During the exam, something happened. I never thought of it. I nearly panicked, but I relaxed again. I spent on the average five minutes on the first 10 questions, five minutes. So the first 10 minutes, uh, first 10 questions, I was just trying to be very sure that I got it just right. And so um, uh, when I do the, uh, call it the uh, odd answers or those questions that were obviously the detractors. The whatever tool that I left, um, I make sure that I revisited the question to see whether they be a clue. And I realized that on within those, uh, I mean, when I was solving those ten questions, I realized that there has always been a key word that gave me a final clue to select or take the right answer. And um, this continued very well and I was going until uh, somewhere along the line that even less than 30 seconds, I was responding to questions. Uh, by the time I got to, I think 96 questions or so, I mean below 100, I read or uh, the canon question appeared. So that gave me an assurance that, oh, okay, I could put the, uh, you know, uh, literatures or the information shared by Kamlesh. I knew I was closed. So I slowed down again from, uh, from that particular moment till I got your exam has ended, I have slowed down again. And then within the next uh, 20 questions or so, um, I received the, uh, how do you call it? I, actually, I was expecting a congratulatory message, but I think they have changed the, the, the way that they present the, uh, how do you call it, the, um, the, the state. Now you have to go to the uh, technical administrator or whoever to pick the, uh, uh, how do you call it, the letter, before you know whether you have passed or not. So during that show we met, I was a BG3 though, because I was expecting congratulatory message on the, how do you call it, on the screen. So I, I, I must say that um, uh, reading slowly uh, with the mouse quite necessary was really helpful. Eliminating the odd ones or the detractors, very helpful reading again and again just to confirm the answer that you want to select what was very, very, very necessary and helpful. And then uh, going back to the questions, I mean, just several times, it doesn't matter. The point is that you may answer several questions, but you may not actually uh, even finish well. That was what I have noticed. 
So why not slow down, answer a few questions within the time million, and then and then um, nail it, rather than try exactly. to rush, yeah, try to rush and then getting it wrong. So I any time I not getting it, I am not in a rush at all to move to the next question. Mnemonics, very, 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 very important. In fact, there were questions that if I didn't have the mnemonics or I didn't remember the step, the way I just want to remember the steps, there was no way I would actually get it. Because the steps, very important. Whatever they are talking about, you could see that, no, this is not the step. If you put uh, just, just uh, down the, the various, you know, point that you believe, at a point, I was even drawing in the exam room because I want to <laughs> actually draw whatever and map them and then get it right. So make use of every tool available with you uh, so that at the end of the day, you know, uh, you get it right. The people around you, I think they are also very, very important. Um, you know, my wife was very, very encouraging. He, she was always encouraging me. Hey, what, 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 what did you start today? What was the match? Oh, I know you can do it. You can. So the people around you, exactly, uh, the energy they give you uh, is also equally important. So I must say that uh, these were the tricks uh, that worked for me. Uh, you must just you. There's no way you can do this without practicing, without reading enough. And areas that you believe are problematic, just focus on those areas. And then gradually you will realize that everything uh, will be easy. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable experience with us, sir. It was super exciting and great to have you and listen from you. There are many professionals like Mr. Victor who are enrolled with us for their CISSP and many other information security and cybersecurity certifications. We are reachable on www.infosecpain.com. Thank you so much, Mr. Victor, for your precious time. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead.